Hello everyone and welcome to a new series on AP for Teens, the AP Microeconomics series. Now this is a new series that I'm going to be starting, uh, the AP US Government series is still going on, I'm just taking a little break from that starting the AP Micro series. So we're going to dive into this starting with the things you need to know in AP Microeconomics. Now since obviously this is the first video we're going to dive right into it. What is economics? Well, economics is the study of how to allocate scarce resources among competing ends. Now, you guys may have a lot of questions, such as some of these kids, you know, what, what, what is scarce? Uh, different types of economies. You might be sleeping. You might be wondering if kids are skipping. You might be wondering when lunch is, depending on when you're watching this. We're going to discuss all of these questions, hopefully, in this video and in future videos. Let's start off with one of those questions about scarcity. Now, scarcity is the state of being in short supply of a good, or in our case today, resource. Now, you can see here there are two different groups competing for a scarce amount of resources. There's not enough of that resource to go around. Economics is the study of human choices. Because everything you do has a choice, whether with millions of different options that you can pick and choose from, or simply the yes or no 50-50 shot. Now, there are two different types of economics that you're going to see, not only in the AP exam, but in other types of fields when you learn about economics. There's positive economics, which describes the ways that things are, which doesn't have to be good. The positive doesn't necessarily mean it has to be good. It just has to be something that's factual or true. And then there's normative economics, which describes the way that things should be, that things ought to be. So an example of positive economics, the unemployment rate is the highest that it's been in 10 years. That can be proven. That's the way that things are right now. A normative economic statement would be that the interest rate should drop. That's the way that things should be based off of positive economic situations. Now, the resources are equivalent to inputs or factors of production. You're going to see those switched around. They're basically the same thing. Now, there are four major types of resources, and this is my interpretation of it. Some people have different ways of explaining it. I personally put it as four different types of resources. Land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurial ability or entrepreneurship. Now let's talk about that first one, land. Now land also refers to natural resources, the productive, the productive resource in nature. Things like wind, water, plants, these are all useful in producing land. Labor is kind of what you think it is. Labor, the physical and mental effort of people, the workers of a company and the actual makers of the product itself, the people that design and think of the product, those are all examples of labor. Capital is kind of different than what you're thinking of. It's not money, and we're going to get into that shortly, but it's not money. You have to make sure you remember that. Capital refers to the manufactured goods by other companies or by your company that can be used in the production process for your company. So things like tools and buildings, these are all examples of capital. Machines as well. And human entrepreneurship, you'll hear entrepreneurial ability and other forms of this. This is the ability to identify opportunities and accept risks in the path. Basically, any creator of a company that you can think of, such as these here, are all examples of using that ability of human entrepreneurship. Now, some other inputs. You'll also see something called human capital, depending on your teacher. They may say human capital is a fifth major uh, input. My teacher and the books that I've read haven't counted that as a separate uh, category. They combined that with labor because we interpret it as the skills gained with training by the laborer, so it would lap into that. But you may see that as a fifth separate category that's perfectly acceptable. Uh, energy and technologies which are important con contributors to the economies, but are also byproducts of the process. So that doesn't make it a major input, it makes it a minor input. And finally, e economists will frequently just show two inputs to make it easier to graph. You'll notice in economics, graphs are extremely important. You'll see the, co the combination between labor and capital. Now, money. We have mentioned before that money is not capital. Money is not a factor of production because money is not productive. All right, I'm not, I'm not giving it out, by the way, just to make sure that you understand that money isn't productive at all. The money doesn't do anything. The land does something. Labor does something. But money doesn't do anything. It's based off of the entrepreneur that does something with the money by taking a risk. Therefore, they're the ones that are the interpretation of the major input of a resource, not the money itself. 
Now, e economics in action, we're going to give an example. Let's say good old-fashioned pizza shop. Now, the four different resources, as I mentioned before, land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. L in land, you're going to need to use natural resources like land and rain, which will help the ingredients grow. The labor are going to create the pizza pizzas going through the entire process. The capital are different types of capital goods, for example, the ovens that are needed to make the pizza. In the entrepreneurship, somebody had to have the idea of making this pizza shop, which is the entrepreneur. And that is going to wrap it up for this first episode. Thank you very much for watching. As always, please subscribe, leave a comment or like in the sections below. Also answer the question down in the comments just to make sure that you learned something new today. Uh, thank you very much for watching and take care.